So today we are talking about alternative ways of hunting without using a firearm. Now the first thing that comes to my mind is maybe using a bow and arrow or a crossbow. But my cousin suggested maybe I try to take a look at a slingshot. So uh, I started researching online. I didn't realize that there were so many different slingshots um, from all different price ranges. But I wanted a slingshot that was easily broken down and I can fit inside my bug out roll. But it also had to have enough power that I could actually hunt small game with it. So I think I might have found the slingshot I was looking for in the survival slingshot. So check it out and let me know what you think. So basically the survival slingshot, you can find these slingshots at uh, survivalslingshot.com. They have an array of different slingshots uh, and, a, and a lot of different accessories. This right here is basically the base model. Uh, it's roughly 50 bucks, but it starts at 50 bucks and they can go all the way up to 200 bucks with the, uh, the one with all the, all the features on it. Uh, the features on those is, uh, basically comes with a flashlight, a laser, and a uh, accessory to shoot arrows. That thing is really awesome, um, 200 bucks. Also, uh, when you get the uh, survival slingshot, this is what it comes with. It comes with the actual arm guard with it. Um, I really didn't like using it, so I took it off. And then it comes with the actual slingshot part itself, which this actually slides off. And it, and it breaks down just like that. And then you just, you know, connect it back. Now also, um, in the bottom of it, open it up comes with a compass it's a pretty decent decent compass it doesn't feel cheap it feels pretty good actually to be honest um, the, the slingshot itself actually feels well built it doesn't feel cheap at all to see it feels like there's something that it would last for a while also when you get the survival slingshot inside of it it comes with uh, uh, accessories to go fishing um, like weights and uh, fishing line and hooks so I thought that was pretty cool I actually put that in my uh, EDC uh, pouch uh, so I'll go over that at another time but screw it on so what I actually did is I just loaded it up with um, several BBs um, I got three eighths uh, it might be better to get maybe a quarter inch I don't know but I wanted something that was going to be able to have a little bit of weight to it a little bit of power to it you just screw that back down like that like that and this is real easy to fit inside my uh, my bug out roll so if you guys already know about the bug out roll um, just an easier way to get to your uh, your belongings rather than trying to get into your book bag and pulling things out that you don't need and have to constantly pack it back up but I'll, I'll go over bug out roll another time once I get it uh, completed totally set up but um, like I said this feel this fits in perfectly in the bug out roll um, the lays down flat so I thought it was pretty cool that um, I was able to you know get a slingshot um, to break down like that. So like I said, my sons and I, we're going to go out in the back. Uh, we're going to shoot out some targets for you guys, um, let you see exactly how strong it is and see if it's even worth getting. So see you guys in a sec. First person to get that tree right there wins. Well, boys, look like I'm gonna win this challenge right here. Uh, 
Boom! Win this challenge. And that's how you got down Hunts and Rabbit. Definitely subscribe and comment. We love you to comment. And if you can, please share the video.